Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by ZebraCode. In this tutorial, we are going to look at iterations in C++. We will specifically be looking at the while loop in this part of the tutorial. Iteration is very useful for solving many computer programming problems. Iteration and conditional execution are major components for constructing algorithms. It helps to build logic in code. C++ iteration, what is it? In C++ and computer programming generally, iteration repeats the execution of a sequence of code. In C++ and many other programming languages, there is this concept of control structures. This concept directs the flow of a program and it involves looping. So, what is a loop? In C++, a loop is a control structure that causes a statement or groups of statements to repeat. We have different types of these looping control structures in C++ and they include the while loop, the do while loop, and the for loop. We will look at all of them one at a time in the course of programming it. In C++, the while loop has two main parts. Here on the screen is a diagrammatic representation of the while loop. The first part is an expression that is tested for a true or false value. While the second part is the block of statement or statements. This is the body part of it. We can have one statement in it or multiple statements. This second part with statements or a statement or, or block is repeated as long as the expression is true. Once again, iteration mechanisms are available in most programming languages. This can be in form of a while loop or a for loop. Now, with that said, let's do some coding to demonstrate a while loop in C++. All right, now I have Sublime Test open and I have created a file which I named while loop.cpp. Now, let's demonstrate the while loop with some code. I'm going to first of all create a skeletal file for C++ code, that is include IO stream include string using namespace standard int main return zero. Assuming here, we are going to write a code that prints out five numbers, that is from one to five. We would say C out one and line C out two and line. C out three and line C out four and line C out five and line save it but now we have manually entered numbers 1 to 5. Let's save it, compile it, and run it to see what the output is going to be on the screen. G++ hyphen 0 run while loop while loop.cpp Great. 
the compilation was done successfully. Now let's run it. Run while loop. Good. Everything was printed out correctly. One, two, three, four, and five. Doing this was a bit easy because it was only from one to five. But what if we were to do it 100 times or 1000 times? This would be very tedious and time consuming. So this is where the concept of iteration becomes useful. For example, the while loop will be very useful here. It is a way of thinking logically. We can also use it to print something out from one to five or more. To do that, let's write some code. I will say here, int scores equals one. While scores is less than or equal to five. Now the body has a block of code. C out. Scores. Scores. Plus plus. Semicolon. Now save it. What we have done here now is we have created a variable with the name scores and it's of data type int and we assigned it a value one why scores this variable is less than or equals to five c out scores end line now to increment it we say scores plus plus so let's save our file compile it and run it once again good it was compiled successfully now let's run it great you see, it does exactly the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, which was for the first one that we entered manually. And the second one now with the while loop is one, two, three, four, five. So we didn't have to type it in manually five times. What if we wanted to print it out 10 times or 100 times? We would just have to change the value here. For example, if I change this one out to 15 by adding 1, it will print out 1 to 15. Let's save it and compile it again. Let's compile it. Great, it was compiled successfully. Now let's run it. Exactly. It has now counted from 1 to 15. We didn't have to enter it manually anymore. The first one that we entered manually was from one to five. And the one that we did with the while loop is from one to 15. That is the beauty of iteration in C++. Now I will name this one as example one. Then I'll create example two here. Print out. Zebra code 10 times. It is not only numbers that we can use for the while loop in C++. We can also use text. For example, we would want to print out zebra code 10 times. The code below will do that for us. The int channel equals 1. While channel is less than or equals to 10, C out zebra code and line channel plus plus semicolon so now I'm going to save this code compile it and run it great 
great it was compiled successfully now let's run it exactly zebra code was printed out on the screen 10 times because that was what we stated in our while loop statement here it is important to mention the danger associated with writing a while loop code if you are not careful you will get an undesired result an unexpected result that could be an infinite loop what does that mean for example if i comment out now the line here channel plus plus and run the code i will get an infinite loop let's do that and see it let's compile it again great it was compiled successfully now let's run it yes as expected we have now a case of infinite loop it will continue running as long as you leave the computer on it will not stop that is infinite loop the only thing you can do here now is to stop the program from your console just press ctrl plus c to stop it why did that happen the reason for that infinite loop is the while loop is checking each time it checks that the number is less than 10 it keeps looping it keeps running so there is no way for it to break out of the loop with this channel plus plus added to it it will be able to break out of the loop once it has checked it and the value becomes false so if the value is true it will continue running until it is false without the channel plus plus it will always be true that is why we got that infinite uh, loop so always remember to add this part of it plus plus to your code i'm going to uncomment it now save it and run compile and run it again the problem of the infinite loop will go away great now it was compiled successfully let's run it exactly now once again we have zebra code printed out 10 times it is not an infinite loop anymore i hope that makes sense it is very important to add that to it so that when it checks it it will be able to break out of the loop when the condition becomes false if the condition is true it will always be looping but when the condition becomes false it will break out of the loop all right that was example two now let's do another example example three i'll call it doing input validation with while loop here with this example three we want a user to enter a number for rating between one and 100 any value or number outside of that range will be marked as an invalid number that is if it is less than one it will be invalid and if it is more than 100 it will also be invalid we just need a number between 1 and 100 and to do that let's enter some code int rating c out rate us with a number between one and one hundred and line C in rating now the while loop while rating is less than one 
of rating is greater than 100 see out error you have entered an invalid number rate us between 1 and 100 end line now make the user to enter a number again see in rating now print out a message see out with the assumption that the user is going to enter a valid number you have rated us rating end line now save it and let's run it but first let's compile it when we can fix this one correct that one okay now save it let's compile it and run it once again great it was compiled successfully now let's run it great now let's first of all enter an invalid number i'm going to enter 220 yes error you have entered an invalid number rate us between 1 and 100 there is some typos in there i will fix them in a minute now it says again enter a number rate us between 1 and 100 i'm going to enter 0 hit enter again yes again error you have entered an invalid number rate us between 1 and 100 this time i'm going to enter 99 great you have rated us 99 which is exactly what we expected it to do so let me quickly fix those typos you then there was another one and yes you have entered an invalid number so what is happening here is easy to understand we have a variable integer rating and we have just a normal see out statement here rate us with a number between 1 and 100 now the user enters rating while the rating that the user enters is less than 1 or the rating is greater than 100 see out error you have entered an invalid number rate us between 1 and 100 then see in again rating the user enters rating again if the rating is within the range then you have rated us that is the number of value that the user has entered so this is another way of using the while loop in c let's do one more example example for while loop within while loop this example that we are going to do now we print out some asterisks and hash symbols on the screen this example we use some integers int y equals zero why y is less than four int x equals zero why x is less than 4 c out the hash sign int z equals 0 while z 
is less than four C out asterisk now see z plus plus now is x plus plus and now is y plus plus c out that's a new line there So let me quickly explain what is going on here. Here we have an integer y, which we set to zero. We say why y is less than four integ s equals to zero. We set another variable of int x. Why s is less than four. This time around, print out a hash symbol. Int z equals to zero. We created another variable there. Why z is less than four. C out. An asterisk now we add z plus plus incremental sign then s plus plus and y plus plus so what we are going to get on the screen now is it will print this symbol first then follow it up with four asterisks then print it again follow it up with another four asterisks so it is going to print four asterisks multiplied by four then multiplied by four in that case we are going to get 64 asterisks but before every four asterisks it will print out the hash symbol so now let's save our code now i'm going to comment out the previous examples so that it will not be printed out i'll just say here if define undefined and if and if so now I'm going to run this code so that the output on the screen will only be this part of the code I think I'm getting error message somewhere there if define okay the reason I added that to it is I only want this part of the code to be printed to the screen I don't want the previous examples to be printed so now I'm going to save it compile it and run it great it was compiled successfully now I'm going to run it run while loop great so now you see it starts with the hash symbol it prints one two three four four asterisks then hash symbol again one two three four then hash symbol again it keeps doing it until it breaks out of the loop this is an example of using while loop within while loop so we can use nested while loops in c in this tutorial we have looked at iteration with emphasis on the while loop i hope you've learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel bye for now